Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's video we're going to be going over the updates for the live Gigantamax events that are now running. They've changed round in the wild area in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so we're going to cover them today um firstly the big one is toxicity is now available so you can see toxicity if we go over to uh, the sword and shield website you can see gigantamax toxicity is now available within the game so it will be running from like now until the 8th of march i believe is when this this specific gmax event finishes you can see it's electric and poison i didn't actually think we were going to get it this soon honestly i thought it might be one of the last gmax pokemon that we're going to get because you know the data is in the game but there's no way to access it before now so it's a real special one for us to get um there are two forms obviously the low key form which is available in shield and the amped form which is available in sword so you can get the other one if you've only got one version by finding friends finding um raids online and joining those and hopefully you'll get the opposite cart version to what you've got um you can see it has got the signature gmax move a stun shock which is pretty cool electric type move uh used by a gigantamax toxicity uh will change to gmax stun shock gmax stun shock uh not only deals damage but also poisons and paralyzes all opponents which is a pretty pretty nice ability to have on top of the damage itself um you can see there is the amp form and the low key form both forms look exactly the same when they are G-Max though, so there's you're not missing out there. But it's a pretty nice G-Max Pokemon. Um, but these aren't the only changes that we've had to the Wild Area live G-Max events recently. We've got the Milstery one that is still running at the moment. And I believe if we hop over to Cerebi.net, uh, the Milstery event is running till the 16th of February. So we know that the other new Gigantamax Pokemon that we'll go over in a minute... They haven't got an end date as of yet, so they are going to be running as soon as I get an update on that. I will let you know. The the ones that were running, the Lapras, Colossal, and Falapal and Appleton are now finished. They're gone. They're not around. So well, they've been replaced by Kingler. Morgrem. Morgrem is, um, obviously it has the ability to G-Max, but... Um, the, it's only available in three star raids so the likelihood of you getting it it's a little rarer although it has got a 20 percent chance to spawn from the raids toxicity is obviously one that we've just covered then you've got grimmsnarl is another event g max pokemon that we can get at the minute which is pretty cool another 20 percent that's from a four star raid and then if we go down there is some more pokemon or beetle now g max or beetle is another pokemon available from these events you've got a 20 percent spawn chance from a three star raid then hatern is another one 20 percent from that three star and then the toxicity and as we go up to the four star you can see hatterene is now available as well so we've got or beetle we've got kingler We've got Hatterene and Toxicity and the Milstery event still running. Milstery is running till the 16th. Remember, there's lots of dates running around here. So that one will end soon. So do grab your Milsteries because remember, I did cover a video on the Milstery GMAX um, events. And you can get the Star and the Ribbon Suites, which are exclusive to these raids. So make sure you do grab them while you have the chance. And then, yeah, you can come down to the 5-star raids. So 5-star, you've got All Beetle, 20%. Hatterene is 20% and the Toxicity is 30%. So a little bit more of a chance to get the Toxicity. So that's pretty nice, pretty nice. And um, what I've done, I got in from work uh, today. I've had a pretty busy week as always. Um, and I wanted to get this up yesterday. Unfortunately, I had no time. So I come in tonight and I thought to mark a little special occasion, we try and get ourselves a shiny event Toxicity because pretty cool so i've got the uh the den all set up and what i wanted to drop in this video was actually if you guys would like me to cover how i've got this shiny red den and it took me like literally an hour an hour i got home from work i did it all an hour got to this den in an hour i will i will do a video covering this over the weekend and i'll pop it up on sunday so if you want let's say to Reinsure the interest. Let's get to 100 likes on this video and I will 
I will post this, I will publish the, the video, the guide on how to do this on Sunday for you. It's a real simple method. I already have covered how you can get any G-Max Pokemon or any Pokemon and shiny in any den already, but this method is way more streamlined. So if you guys would like to see that, do let me know. Remember, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. And uh, yeah, it all helps the channel out. So we'll dive into this one and we'll give you a glimpse of at least one of the G-Max Pokemon in this uh, this new event that's going on at the minute and we'll have a look. I'm not sure if we really, yeah, you can, it's kind of, it's really subtle. It's a really subtle G-Max Pokemon. It's a shiny, so it's shiny form is not amazing, but there you go. You can see the stars and um, I'm using good old lightning rod right here, which should give me a good, a good chance of getting this one here and uh, we'll G-Max ourselves and try and see if we can get this pretty quickly. So we'll be right back. So there we go, we have beat it, so I'm just gonna try and catch it. I don't actually have any Master Balls, which is not ideal for these situations, but a Repeat Ball, I've caught it before, gives you the best odds to catch these event G-Max Pokemon. So, fingers crossed, let's hope we get it and uh, we can catch ourselves this exclusive shiny G-Max Toxicity. One, two, come on, come on, come on, please, please. Do it for the video, we need it. There we go, we get it, so that's awesome. Get the Toxicity, nice, and we can check it out, have a look at it. See what items we get, get Dynamax Candy, Mago Berry, Toxic Spike, Sludge, Wave, and Gunk Shot. So not too bad, not too bad. Could be better, I guess, but I mean, look at it. It looks awesome, it's a nice shiny as well. I like, it's kind of subtle, but it looks cool. Um, and I, I do personally prefer the amped form to the low-key form, so I'm a little bit biased there, so I'm pleased I've got sword and not shield on this occasion. And there we go, so there it is, G-Max Toxicity. Make sure that you guys take advantage of these events while they are active, because Toxicity isn't available any other means in the game, so you can grab it now, make sure you do get it while you've got the chance to, and if you want me to show you um, and post that video to show you the guide on how to easily get yourself, even easier than the last method I did, um, way easier really and anyone can do it uh, if you want me to post the video for getting these event Pokemon shiny then let me know make sure you hit that like button do subscribe to the channel leave any comments you got down in the comment section below let me know which toxicity form is your favorite do you prefer the amped or do you prefer the low key form toxicity has got probably one of the best designs in the sword and shield games for the new Pokemon at least at least it's my one of my favorites anyway I do love its design it's really cool and uh, being a guitarist myself Again, a little bit biased there, but uh, hope you found this update video useful, guys. Uh, have fun hunting these new G-Max Pokemon. Um, it's a really nice bunch we've got for February, at least into March, um, and I assume we'll probably get some new ones on. Around the 9th of March is what I've heard the event ends, but I'm not 100% sure. So just make sure you get the Pokemon while you can, and if I do get confirmation on when these G-Max dates are going to end, I'll update in a pin post down below. So thanks for tuning in, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, guys, take care and bye-bye.